In this video lesson, we will learn about quadrilaterals. So first, what is a quadrilateral? Well, quad means four, and lateral means like side. So quadrilateral is something with four sides. So we have four-sided figures. And there's actually a whole lot of special types of them, and that's what this video will be about. Because in general, they can look like all sorts of crazy shapes as long as they have just four sides. But some special types of them have very convenient properties. So let's get to it. Parallelograms. So the word parallel, you should know from parallel lines. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has each pair of opposite sides parallel to each other. So for example, this side is opposite to this side and they must be parallel. Same with the other two sides. All of these quadrilaterals drawn here are parallelograms because Whichever pair of opposite sides you take, they will be parallel. As you can see, those are the opposite sides and they are parallel. So let's move on to the next type of special quadrilateral. Rhombuses. So rhombuses are actually just a special type of parallelogram. So that means that they still have to have pairs of opposite parallel sides. But they have to have an additional thing to this parallel property. That is, all four sides must be equal. So here, for example, all four sides are equal and the opposite pairs of sides are parallel. So it's a rhombus. And the same is true for the other drawing. four equal sides, and opposite parallel sides. So don't forget, equal sides is not enough for it to be a rhombus. It must also be a parallelogram or have parallel opposite sides. All right, let's move on to the next special type of quadrilateral. Next on the list is rectangles. So rectangles are actually, they're quadrilaterals that have four angles equal to 90 degrees. You probably recognize rectangles. So here I'm marking this is what a 90 degree angle is marked as with a little box. And all four of them have to be 90 degrees for it to be called a rectangle. And I'll notice that a rectangle is actually a special type of parallelogram. Not all parallelograms are rectangles, but all rectangles are parallelograms. And you can just look, the opposite sides are all parallel. But anyway, that's just a little side note. The important part is that the four angles are equal to 90 degrees. Now squares. Now a square is a special type of rectangle. Kind of like rhombuses are for parallelograms, we have squares for rectangles. So squares are a rectangle. They're rectangles with all four sides equal. Kind of like a rhombus has all four sides equal, but a square also has to have all angles equal to 90 degrees. So here I'm marking all equal sides and angles equal to 90 degrees and even this tiny one here. So these are squares. All right, what's next? Next up are trapezoids. Now these, these shapes look a little bit weird. 
So the special thing about trapezoids is that they have exactly one pair of parallel sides. So they can't be parallelograms. Parallelograms always have two pairs of parallel sides. But if there's only one pair of parallel sides, it's called the trapezoid. And here I've marked them off, the parallel opposite sides. But as you can see, the other sides are definitely not parallel. All right, just one more to go. Next up are kites. So what exactly are kites? The mathematical figure. Kites have two pairs of equal sides, but there's one really important note here. The pairs of equal sides have to be next to each other, meaning there have to be two equal sides sharing a vertex and the other two equal sides sharing a vertex. Just like I'm drawing here, two equal sides touching, another set of two equal sides touching. So these shapes are called kites, the ones that are drawn here. They obviously have two sets, two pairs of equal sides, and they're arranged correctly. So I hope this video helped you, and thank you for watching.